my god. Oh my god everyone, welcome to today's video in which we're going to be learning how to compare two linear functions. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a table and an equation, and we're going to see how we can compare the two of them. So in this case, we have the function A, which is a table, and function B, which is going to be an equation. And they're asking us three things. Which one has the higher initial value for B? Which one has the higher rate or slope? And they're asking us to draw the graphs for both of them. Okay, so basically we can see that the function A has a value of X and Y, and we're given a table. The initial value, or value for b is going to be the y-intercept. Now, guys, you have to remember that the y-intercept is actually when the graph has a value of x equal to 0. So that means that our y-intercept is going to be y equal to 4. So b is equal to 4 in the first one. And on the second one, in function b, it was given to us in the function itself. So we can see that b is equal to 3 in function b. Now, which one has the higher change rate or the slope? Remember that the, func the slope is going to be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Let's choose these two points, for example. So we're going to choose y2 and y1 here and x2 and x1. So y2 is going to be 0 minus 2. And then here it's going to be 2 minus 1. So that is going to be minus 2 divided by 1, which means that our slope is going to be minus 2 on the first one. And on the second one, we're already given the slope, which is 7, because we can see it directly from the function or the equation, right? So that means that on the second one, the second one, 7 is going to be higher than minus 2. And on the first one, 4 is going to be higher than 3. Right. So now they're asking us to write the functions or to draw the graphs. Right. So it's actually pretty easy. So for function A, we just have to um, see the points that they give to us. So they give to us point zero comma four. Right. So zero, one, two, three, four, which we know is going to be our value for the y intercept. Right. So y and x. And it's going to be four. And as you can see, for the value of the second value, we can choose this one, which is 0 and 2. So a value of x equal to 2 gives us a value of 0. So that means that the graph is going to be like this, okay? And this is going to be function A, right? Now let's try doing function B. So in the case for function B, we can just um, graph two points. So we have y equals 7x plus 3. Let's choose a point. So let's say for x equal to 0. For x equal to 0, we're going to get the point 7 times 0 plus 3, which is going to be 0 plus 3, which is 3. So for x equal to 0, our value is going to be y equal to 3. And let's choose a value for y equals to 2, for x equal to 2, right? So it's 7 times 2 plus 3. So in this case, it's going to be 7 times 2, it's, it's going to be 14, plus 3 is going to be um, a value of 17. So that means that when x is equal to 2, y is going to be 17. So we can also draw, draw that graph. So it's going to be for 0, we have a value of 1, 2, 3. And for a value of x equal to 2, so 1, 2, we have a value of 17, right? Right, which is going to be around here. And we just know that it's going to be positive, so it's going to be increasing the slope, right? So in the first one, since the slope is negative, it goes down. And in the second one, since it's a positive slope, we know it grows and it goes up. And that is pretty much it for today, guys. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye!